little less than ideal. We had more comfortable chairs in here. I don't know what happened to them. Well, next door. We're live. We're live. Okay. All right. So it's another edition of Between Two Services. Still no theme song. Oh, after all this time. We are also still um, missing the church iPad. So if you come across uh, an iPad in the course of your activities at church, uh, it's possible that it's the one we're looking for. So please let us know where it is. Do you have any idea where it is? Um, no. No, I didn't think you did. Have you checked with Owen? Yeah, I checked with Owen. That was my one idea. I know. Great minds think alike. Well, Beatrice, we're back. Uh, kind of kicking it old school this morning. Thanks for coming on with my co-horse. Co-host. <laughs> Not co-horse, co-host. We were dealing with the farm, so I think that's why he's thinking of horses. Yeah, I'm I'm a little loopy this morning, but I'm extremely proud of everything that we've accomplished in terms of uh, digital ministry and this great setup with all these names behind us, uh, everyone in honor and memory of uh, for this incredible system that we have. But I'm thinking back to the days like in 2020 when it was like we we all had to stay in our own little bubbles and 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 we were kind of in a semi shutdown, healthy at home, don't call it a lockdown. Um, and you and I ended up making a lot of videos together. You remember that? Yeah, I remember being his film person. Yeah, and my camera girl, you were pretty good got a crash course in videography. And those will be memories that as we leave St. John's, I think will take forever. You know, that memory of pulling together, of working together. Um, some of them were hilarious bloopers and outtakes. I think I shared them in one of the videos that we did, like just all the cuts and the, the edits. And um, I remember you too, like as, as a little kid, like you'd get bored while I was talking and sometimes jump into the middle of the take or, or whatever. But uh, for the most part, we made it work. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, of course, by now, most people know um, that I'm taking a call to Faith Lutheran and in Lexington. And that's a place where we have a lot of historic connection. I went to preschool there. Yeah, and uh, so that was, and, and so it's been a congregation that's been part of my life since about 2005, and uh, was the church that we were members of before we came to St. John's, and we've kind of, uh, you know, kept some relationships there, so now we'll, we'll go back and, and build some relationships there, and I'm excited about it. How are you feeling about it? I'm excited about it. Cool. Blizzard's excited about it. Awesome. Well, as long as Blizzard's good, we're good. But of course, I also want to say, like, in the midst of this excitement, there's also a time for thinking through, um, because I'm also a little sad, like, sad to be leaving St. John's. We've yeah. got some great memories here. Yeah. And I thought maybe we could talk about what are some great memories that you'll be taking with you from St. John's. Mm-hmm. Sure. Just share whatever you want to share. Um... So, I remember that when we first came to St. John's, I immediately made friends with um, two people. There was Jocelyn, who awesome. I'm still friends with today. I'm also friends with her little sister, Charlotte. You fit in right between the two of them. Yeah. Age-wise. And then I remember Rosemary, who I'm also still friends with today, just not as acquainted. And um, when there was still a playground there, I remember going out to play with one or the other and... Climbing trees. Climbing the climbing tree. Yeah. Which is still climbable today. And I remember 
early on, we had a huge Easter egg hunt um, that we also did with the Presbyterians. Do you remember that? Yeah. That was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And we, we did some other Easter egg hunts. Um, i trying to think of other memories. Like, I just, you know, the pictures, in the pictures that, that I've been looking through, really, like, you help me mark time. Because it's like, I stay mostly the same. Like, you know, maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe a little bit more wrinkly. Um, but, but mostly the same. But you have gone from being, like, four to 10 and that is a dramatic difference like there's this one like adorable photo of me at the end of the service holding you with one arm and now i've well now you're so big <laughs> you could almost pick me up <laughs> i probably couldn't do that i can't even pick sora up oh not yet well you're getting there so um other favorite things that you're thinking about um i remember a lot of times when I would go up there to read. Yeah. Every single time I would be really nervous. Then I would get like bored. I'd be like, oh come on, when is my reading time? I'm ready. I'm ready to I'm ready. Because you know you now you, please let me read before I get worried again. You hate being the center of attention, of course. <laughs> Blizzard hates being the center. Okay, poor Blizzard. But look where you put him, right in the center. Um, He's literally in the center of attention right now. The camera is aimed at the poor Blizzard. Come here. <laughs> it's alright, buddy. If you don't know, Blizzard is my comfort pet. And it's a stuffed animal because I can't really carry around a real pet. That'd be kind of interesting. But he is also real messy. Tiny. He's. So I was thinking too, like you participated in the essay contest when we did uh, the the essay contest for the 175th, and you you wrote about a little bit about what it was like to be a priest daughter. Uh, remember anything that you said about that? Um. Yeah. Um. I remember writing about a time that I played with Charlotte. Yeah. And we ran around the church pretending that there were ghosts after us. And um, we were each holding a Bible mm -hmm. and, say, and chanting this thing. I don't quite remember what we were chanting. I think you were chanting, Holy Spirit, activate. Yeah. It was, it was a little Pentecostal. Yeah. We were chanting, Holy Spirit, activate, and running around the church holding Bibles. This is, this is like a, now notice sisters and brothers, like, you know, what does she remember fondly? Her friends playing, running around the church, nothing in there about like dad sermons or, you know, <laughs> any of the worship services, <laughs> except for when you're reading. Okay. Well, this, no, this is important. I actually think most people, when they think about church and how it makes them feel, they think about their friends. They think about the good times that they've had. And I think like adults uh, probably do less running and less tree climbing, but just as much uh, hanging out and playing as kids do at church. And that's okay. I mean, this is a, the house of the Lord doesn't need to be a boring place. I was just about to get to the part where I talk about your sermon. Okay. <laughs> or about helping me bless holy water. Yeah, I remember helping him bless holy water with a chalice that... Not a chalice. No, not a chalice. Um, words. Yeah, I know. I'm, there is a technical term that I can't remember. A flagon is the technical term. Flagon. Yes. I was actually like... That was cool we did the handshake. But I was actually like trying to model the, <laughs> the handle of the flagon, like the pitcher. Uh, of water. Sometimes I got to pour it in, but... There you go. But the first time my dad poured it in, it was very full. Yeah. We had to get good at all of these things. And then of course you've hung out with me sometimes at night at the church when we're running errands, stopping in and out. Oh yes, I remember bringing Ella here. 
Yeah, Ella's our dog. Ella, destroyer of worlds. We call her that because she used to chew, chew on her our window. Yeah, she, she destroyed a window, so... Only hot sauce could save us. It didn't even save us. <laughs> Only well, her growing out of her puppy stage. And she's still a bit, like... Ella would come to church more often, but, like, not, like... Like, she's not like Louisa's dogs. Louisa's dogs are, like, mellow and wonderful. And she is either the sweetest dog in the world or she is barking, growling, and nipping at heels. And you never know exactly which version of Ella you're going to get. So, yeah, that's why she doesn't come more often. Well, um, at night, she usually does come to get some energy out. And the reason that I say this is because... For COVID, when we used to go to the church and turn the green light on. Yeah, we turned the green lights on. Yep. For COVID. They don't just magically turn on. No, they don't. We never got a timer. In March of 2020, we talked about installing a timer. We never did. <laughs> you were our timer, right? Like, yeah. it would be like, all right, we showed up at night and be like, oh, yeah, go, please go turn the green lights on. Well, we would let Ella off of her leash. Sometimes we wouldn't even put her on a leash. And that's because no one was there. Right. And she sticks and, close to us. Yeah. And but she, we realized we couldn't do that because she ran up and down the hallway. Not the hallway. The little red carpet. Yeah, the aisle of the and church. So, and sometimes I would race her. I know. I would, like, race her. And this, it was really fun. That was fun. Yeah. It was probably good no one else was here. No carpet was harmed in the racing of the dog and the kid. <laughs> And now we've got, instead of green lights for COVID, we've got blue and yellow lights to, rem to remind people to pray for Ukraine. We don't go there at night. Is, did you finally get a timer? No, I didn't get a timer. We're just not turning them on very often. <laughs> we probably should turn them on more often. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think in all for of this... For shame. Oh, well, you know. Oh. <laughs> um, I think in all of this, there have been some really great opportunities to grow. I can remember very early on um, being late to a service because it was a Wednesday night chapel service, and I had to drive to Lexington and back to pick you up uh, from your preschool. That's when you were still at Faith Lutheran, so I had to fight rush hour both ways, and then it was like I had that 5.30 service. And that was the like the one and only time that year that you got in a lot of trouble. And so I'm running behind, and then all of a sudden it's like you have to talk to the director. I was like, oh no. So I was late to the service and came in, apologized, was totally embarrassed. But you know what? Most everyone was supportive. And we learned from it. I do remember another Wednesday night service. Oh goodness. When um he called me out to read the song for the praise of the people. Was the song the praise of the people? I can't remember. I think it was But the I song. didn't have a reader, so I was just like, hey, Bia, you want to read this? Now, I'm one of those people who has to practice and practice and practice yeah. and have it perfect before it's actually time, which it, I didn't do in between two services this time, so. You're doing great. We can wrap up if you're ready to no. wrap up. You're not? No. Okay. Blizzard hasn't spoken yet. What does Blizzard want to say? What is Blizzard's um, favorite memory of St. John's? Blizzard, um, Blizzard's told me this before the service because he didn't really want to speak because he's shy. Okay. And, um, he said that one of his favorite memories was, um, coming here on a normal service day and um, sitting with me and listening to your sermon. Oh, thank you, Blizzard. You're so nice. Well, I think about all the great things that we've managed to, to do over the years, even with COVID, uh, fun times, uh, fun and games with VBS, do you remember the big water fight we did? You don't? No. This is the thing, like, I remember. 
I got totally drenched. We did it after service. I did this wonderful Bible study about Jesus turning the water into wine, and then we used squirt guns and hosed everyone off. You don't remember that? No, but that does bring back a few other memories okay. to me. And um, so I remember when I was a little kid, like six. Yeah. And there was the child service. Yeah. Upstairs, and I would, and some people would get to carry the cross. Some people would get to do readings, and this would all happen during my dad's sermon. Yeah. That's so. something that hopefully we'll be able to bring back at St. John's at some point. Mm -hmm. yeah. That cross that uh, Ned and his son made, which was really light. And I remember, like, I would, the, the kids would line up to, um, for the procession. Whoever was first would get to. Right, and, every, and all the kids wanted to be the one to carry the cross. I remember that. We could probably start that again. We need some teachers. I could be a teacher. You could be a teacher? I could be a teacher. I think you could probably be a teacher, you're right. Just stomp that idea. Alright. I also remember the daycare center. Yep. Which... I can remember the daycare center. I can remember one day there being no kids in church. And that was the day that you and all your friends were like, Okay, we're not going to go to church. We're all going to play in the nursery. <laughs> and so I went down there, and the poor nursery workers had like 10 kids running around being crazy. And I'm pretty sure you were the ringleader of it all. <laughs> um, I do remember the two nursery teachers. Not their names, actually, but... Um, that's because I was really little. And um, I remember them being really nice. And um, that's where I would practice my tiny bit of Spanish. Yeah. My tiny itsy bit of Spanish. There you go. I'll have to get some more for you. <laughs> I will in high school. Hopefully not high school, but I hope it's not. No, no, no. Let's, let's let that go. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for joining me this morning. I think it's good for us, you know, to reflect back on what it is that uh, we're going to miss about this place, the favorite, favorite, favorite memories, and also, you know, to give opportunities for people to kind of uh, reflect on, you know, what's changed, how have we grown uh, through all the experience the last several years. Um, and uh, that will be especially important as St. John's thinks about the future and charts the course. Uh, our story here is kind of ending. We hope that it ends on a happy and lighthearted note. And I know I'm going to cherish memories of this place. And you? Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for joining me on Between Two Services this morning. Yeah.